On Wednesday, when I bumped into Deputy Mayor Alan Pollard, towing a friend out of the drain, it was the first time I had seen a city councillor working in a while. And it got me to thinking maybe he could use those strong hands to slip this submarine cable back into the sea. It's been deposited here on the Sandlighters Promenade from November 2nd, 2022. That's when Hurricane Lisa hauled it up from the seabed and dashed it out onto the promenade like a serpent swallowed whole and spat out by the storm. On that day, the waves out here were especially vicious. This was before the storm, and this was during. And when it was done, we captured this scene the day after the promenade structure rooted out by the pounding waves and the cable haul and pull out of the sea a marvel of nature's relentless fury. And almost three months later, that marvel is still on daily display. The cable hasn't gone anywhere and the real marvel is how long the city will just leave it there on this much trafficked, otherwise beautiful seaside pedestrian area. Hundreds walk across, around and over it every day. We saw dozens of tourists high-stepping it across the barnacled surface. This couple from Canada told us they found it uncharacteristically unsightly. But alas, the city we always hear is powerless and broke. So maybe they could ask these workmen from the pizza parlor, the same city allows to encroach on ever-expanding portions of the precious seaside sidewalk, to lend a hand and just slip the thing back into the dark depths from whence it came. But the plunge pool that Hurricane Lisa opened up on the promenade? You can leave that right there. Maybe for Mayor Bernard Wagner and Air Rep Karim Musa, I'd certainly join them. Today, an encouraging sign that maybe just that is happening. After we nosed around yesterday and today, caution tape was hastily put up to let everyone know this is a special area. Plunge pool and swim up bar on the way. <laughs>